Hi guys, this is Cindy with EZC Productions. I am on my way to the site right now so I could do a little clip. It is now January 18th and today's video I'm going to use and I'm going to talk about the weather and the status of the landslide. And also please stay tuned to watch a clip from my geologist explaining what we have been looking at, areas of concern. Okay? Alright, so here we go. Okay guys, so I have arrived. I got here a little bit later than I thought. Um, so this is the view that I'm parking at, checking it out from afar. All right, so um, lately what's been on the news, um, Seattle Times just released a stunning series of laser images um, that reveal the advancement of the slide guys. And I'll put that link in the details, okay? And Yakima County's emergency uh, management declaration of emergency remains in effect. And as far as the weather, we have been having rain these last two days, and we're expecting rain for two more days. So water's gonna cause pressure on the slide and those rock areas. And I'll add a clip as to what the weather looks like for this week. Alright, and what's the current status of the slide? The report amount of rock that could impact the area in the event of a landslide is 10 million cubic yards. The main focus of local and national reporting has been centered around the large fissure on the eastern face. So local news and national news has always been focused on the eastern face of the ridge findings. Based on our research, we see um, strong indicators. We see strong indications that a second failure plane has appeared on the west face, guys. So, my geologist will explain this in the coming clip. Okay, so my main concern's always been about a southwest landslide. And that's because the freeway runs across right here up front. And then on, we have the river. If you look at the screen, we would have the river on the left side. And... Uh, if that were to take place, I mean, we would be having huge impacts on um, Interstate 82 and the Yakima River. So we're not sure what's going to happen, but the media is focusing on the south and possibly southwest landslide. All right, so like I mentioned before, I hope to have a commentary on the slide from my geologist. So stay tuned for that. All right, so pretty much what people are talking about around here, since I do live in Yakima, um, <laughs> we've had a few, as you can tell by the media and the drones that have been flying up there, we've had a few people walk up there, which is very, very dumb, dumb thing to do. I mean, you're putting yourself in danger. Uh, uh, other people that I've talked to weren't concerned because they were just told it's, they were just been they've been focused that it's gonna slide down the south you know and I started to explain to them well this is this is what we've been noticing and uh, they've become a little bit more aware and they've uh, been more interested in what's going on going on and they've actually stopped driving themselves on freeway 82 Oh my god, it looks like I have visitors back here. I don't know who it is. Alright, so that's all I got for now. Thank you. Stay tuned for uh, reports from my geologist.
Hello and good day everyone. As a courtesy to Easy C Productions and as a concerned geologist, I um, wanted to offer up some observations of the Rattlesnake Ridge slide uh, in hopes that um, you might get some better understanding of what's going on here. First, some, a little bit of background. Um, this entire ridge is just made up of rock that we call basalt, which uh, was originally just lava flows one after the next. Um, now, according to the reporting, it's quite possible that uh, layers of sediment could be interlayered in within this rot within this slide. Um, that wouldn't be a good thing. Um, I guess that remains to be seen, but um, we don't know that for sure. But we'll, um, we'll if something comes up in that respect, we will definitely report it. Um, what form this actual mountain itself is most likely about I don't know, half a mile to the south of the ridge beyond the quarry a little further south of the quarry um, there's a map thrust fault in this area um, that seems like the most likely culprit here is, is to what form this mountain ridge originally um, what impact that may have on the slide itself uh, that's could be anybody's guess really um, that's kind of this as you see over here um, the approximate location of the reverse fault the arrows indicate the direction you can see kind of the down dropping here a little bit of down dropping over there as the ridge is forced up um, again this is just inferred we're not 100% convinced of that um, as you can see this is just a past landslide but it all seems to make sense um, in this case the landslide was in more of the western direction which we are not ruling out for this particular the current landslide um, as we can see the, the reporting has been very much centered on the fissure obviously on the eastern northern eastern face here um, and for good reason um, the apex of this is right here, but what, since this is the only thing that's available to us, um, we've been at a, quite a bit of focus lately, um, and I've kind of been watching this from the beginning, is this failure surface that's running down the western face of Rattlesnake Ridge, and we can zoom in here a little bit, and we clearly see, um, a plane starting here, um, with this is appears to be just a runoff gully that is formed possibly a fracture possibly of shear um, we can see that it's going around the outcrop here um, path of least resistance um, now how we how are we comparing that um, back on uh, this photo from easy C productions was from the 16th on the 9th um, a picture was released from the media which basically is just a zoomed in version of the current um, failure surface on the western face and as we can see it, it pretty much matches up and but as we can also see it's a lot less apparent I mean this is a zoomed in shot um, we can still see the deformation stacks here uh, the shear stress fractures are increasing um, you know, so that just for, and even you can see up here the apex of the current, the, the most reported aspects of this. It's certainly a lot deeper than this is now, so we definitely have some movement here. Um, let's see, where else? Yes, um, again, as you can see, um, we just see an obvious, and we're, we're pretty much assuming that we're, we're looking at a more of a south, southwest movement at the movement um, whether or not it could go west remains to be seen um, we do see indications of that where do we see indications of that um, this um, laser image uh, was released today by the Seattle Times extremely impressive um, in just a month's time I think we can clearly see a general movement to the south I think what's particularly interesting here is this particular area right here where the lasers Im imaging has honed in beautifully um, on the st stress that's being
foot on this ridge as it's progressing south southwest um, the bulging here on the western face relative this appears to be right here this appears to be where our crack on the western face that we're documenting appears to be um, but it's definitely bulging to the west which could indicate um, some slide to the west um, I guess the deciding factor here would be does that failure plane release before this builds up too much it would seem to me that it this the, the failure plane that we're showing may in fact break off at this point um, clearly an impressive uh, video here um, this pretty much defines it um, previous reports we have pretty much determined and this kind of this confirms it that our slide plane is right here um, and that's quite a mass of rock 10 million cubic yards that's a lot um, and it does appear again more of a south southwest we'll wait and see what happens here but the the clearly this shows that the slope is definitely bulging on the west side so um, I don't think we have much more to um, offer at this point we will continue to monitor this um, even if the media doesn't um, but I will say from recent photographs yesterday from EZC Productions this failure plane does as we showed in the last in the picture from the ninth go back it does and this is a quite a distance away from the close-up of the previous photo on the ninth that this particular failed surface appears to be growing and appears to be opening um, we have seen more towards the south um, end of the quarry we do see talus of rockfall bits and pieces coming off the uh, slope face so I think you know as to the timing um, who knows but it does appear imminent um, you know I don't know if it'll make it to March it doesn't appear that way certainly based on this uh, this enlightening footage here um, you know we like I said we currently see a glide here which could in fact indicate a western movement it really depends what the resisting force behind that crack on the west face is relative to this resisting force down here um, we'll see but this area here um, in the southwest end of the quarry appears to be pretty much all the resisting forces that is holding back 10 million cubic yards of rock that's it's not a lot of area is it mm -mm. Anyway, we will um, we will continue to monitor this this slide. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, please feel free to respond to any questions, and I'm sure we'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.